Today, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to program an Arduino Uno using the Arduino IDE software. Um, and in this video, we'll start off with a simple project, and that is um, to make a LED light blink on the Arduino. Okay, so I've already opened up the Arduino IDE software, um, which is free to download from the Arduino website. And once you've opened it, um, after you've installed it and you've opened the program, you can click on File and then New to um, start a new program, which in the Arduino software is called a Sketch. So Sketch is a um, just a program that you've made. Um, and you can also, if you go to um, Examples, there's also a whole heap of different examples here. Um, so there's actually already a Blink program in here, which is pretty similar to the one that I've already got open. So um, you can go straight to examples from the file menu, basics and then blink, and you can see there's a whole heap of other different um, example programs in there. That, so um, it's pretty easy to get started. Then um, I've also uh, installed other libraries for different sensors and modules for the Arduino. So for example, I have a humidity temperature sensor so I've installed a, a um, library for that, and I've also got a dot matrix display, um, and uh, there's also a Wi-Fi module as well. So when you install different uh, libraries, there will also sometimes be some example programs in here. Okay, and to install a library, basically you can go to uh, go on the web and find a library for a sensor or um, some type of module that you've purchased and then you can download that library and copy the folder, in, folder into your Arduino libraries folder. Okay, now it depends on where you've installed it but usually it's somewhere like in your the Arduino folder is usually in your documents folder and then the libraries folder is in the Arduino folder and you can just copy and paste library folders into there. Okay, um, once you've uh, made some programs and saved them, they will turn up in your sketchbook here. Um, so they're always here as a, a quick shortcut to open them, but you can just click on open. Okay, and I've already got one in here that I've opened, and Arduino sketch usually ends in .ino, so I've got blinking LED. I've got a whole heap of other um, different programs I've made in my Arduino folder as well, and here is my libraries folder. So that's where I've copied a few different libraries into. Anyway, so um, if you want to find a bit more out about that, then you're best to go onto the Arduino website, and that explains all about sketches, um, libraries, um, and, it, and there's lots of example programs on there as well. However, I've got a blinking LED program here that I've already programmed, um, and there's a few buttons up here in the toolbar. So there's a verify, which will check your program and then compile it. There's Upload, which will also compile your program and then send it to your Arduino when it's plugged in. There's New to start a new file, Open and Save as well. Um, on the Tools menu, you need to make sure that when you've plugged in your Arduino for the first time, that it's selected here. So I'm using Arduino Uno and it's already plugged in. You also need to check that you've got the correct serial port connected. So mine is on COM3, and it says down the bottom here as well, Arduino Uno on COM3. If when you plug in your Arduino for the first time and it doesn't work correctly, just go to the Tools menu, check that you've got the right board selected, and then check that you've got the right serial port selected. You might have a couple of different COM ports there. Just try the, um, each one until it works for you. There's also a serial monitor, which if you go into that, you can see um, feedback coming from different sensors depending on how you program them. But we'll look at that a little, a little bit later when we start using sensors. Okay, so here's my program. And Arduino programs are written in C language. So there's a comment up here. And to do a multi-line, write a multi-line comment, you use a forward slash and an asterisk. And then you end that multi-line comment with an asterisk or star and a forward slash. So I've got two lines of comments in there, they're grayed out. And then here is just a single line comment. And that's using using a double forward slash. So 
if you've done programming before, um, but you haven't done programming in C, it's similar to a few other languages you might have tried. Um, so a lot of other programming languages have double forward slash for comments as well. Now, I have to give my LED a name, so I'm just calling it LED, and I'm declaring that variable here, and I'm going to make it an integer, and I'm going to uh, make the value for this variable 13. Okay, and each, each line where um, you're programming, you're either um, creating a variable or running a function or something like that, you need to um, put a semicolon on the end of that line. Okay, the next part down here, there's um, two parts that are usually in every Arduino program. That's the setup here and the loop. Now, setup will just get everything ready for your program. So here it's an initializing the digital pin as an output. So the LED pin, which is pin 13, it's setting that up as an output. And then down here we've got a loop, which will basically just run this code over and over again. Okay. Um, so we want basically to turn the LED on and then off, but we want to repeat that over and over again. So on, off, on, off, on, off. It's going to be a flashing LED. So in this loop here, inside these curly braces, we've got digital right, LED, and high. And that means to turn the LED on. So high is on. Then we have a delay here of 2,000. Um, and that actually represents two seconds. So if I change that to one second, then I've got to change it to 1,000. We've got digital right LED low down here, so that turns the LED off, and that's set to 500. I might make that 1000 as well. So basically the LED will be on for one second, or high, and it will be off or low for one second as well. Just add in an extra zero there. And then that loop ends, but it will repeat over and over again while the Arduino is plugged into a power source. If I click on verify, it will check for any syntax errors or uh, any issues with the code, it says compiling sketch. And if there's any problems with this code, error messages will be displayed down the bottom here. Okay, so it's done compiling, no issues there. I can now upload it. Now I've got my Arduino plugged in, it's compiling again, and in a second it should start uploading to the Arduino. Okay, and the uploading is done. Now, let's go and have a look at how to set up the Arduino to um, plug in the LEDs and um, wire it all up so we can get this program actually running on there. For this blinking LED project, you're going to need an Arduino Uno. Uh, you're going to need one LED doesn't matter what color it is, it can be red or green or whatever color you like. You're going to need one um, 470 ohm resistor, which will basically act to reduce the current flow to the LED. And you can tell this is a 470 ohm resistor because looking from this side, if you look closely at the rings, probably a bit difficult to see, but they're uh, yellow, violet, black, black, and brown rings there. So it's color coded to tell us that this is a 470 ohm resistor. And um, I'll put in the links for this video. Um, that's an easy way of telling what type of resistor you've got based on the color codings. That link will be in with the video. Um, you'll also need two jumper wires. And it doesn't matter what colors you've got, but I've just got red and blue jumper wires here. And uh, you'll also need a solderless breadboard, like one of these. Um, you only need a small one, you don't need a big one. So a solderless breadboard and of course a um, USB cable for the Arduino to plug it into the computer. Um, along with that you'll need a computer, either Windows or Mac, with the um, Arduino um, IDE software on there to program this. Okay, so firstly we're going to set up the breadboard. Now if you haven't used a 
breadboard before, it's a good idea to um, go on the web and find some instructions on how to properly use a breadboard. But basically what you need to know is that if you plug a wire into uh, either the negative, the minus or the plus um, strip here, if you plug one into the first pin down here on negative, then what you've plugged in will run all the way down here. And if you plug one into the positive, that will also run all the way down here. So for example, if you plug 5 volt power into the uh, number 1 pin on positive here, and then you get a jumper wire from here to here to provide power to some kind of sensor, then the power will travel all the way down here, and then from there to there. If you plug in ground into negative, that will also run across here. And you'll see how that works in a minute. So it's important to know that on uh, these two sides here, we've got the blue and red, the negative and the positive. They run across that way. And in the middle here, the pins run across this way. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this uh, breadboard and I've got the red LED and I'm going to plug the red LED in with the long pin to the right and the shorter pin to the left. Um, so it's going to be very difficult to see but just remember that the, the long pin is on the right and the short pin is on the left. Okay, now it's a bit hard to see what number they're plugged into, but I'm going to take a uh, I'm going to take this 470 ohm resistor and I'm going to bend it into a U shape, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to plug it into the left side, which was the short pin. So anywhere in front of it, plug that in there and then over to the blue strip, positive, uh, sorry, negative. Okay, now it's pretty tricky to see this, but I've got the long pin on the, the right and the short pin on the left. Where the short pin is plugged in on the LED, in front of that pin, I've got the uh, 470 ohm resistor plugged in there, and then it's going down here to the negative. I'm going to go across to the first pin, and it really doesn't matter where I plug it in, but I'm going to plug it into the first pin down here. I'm going to take my blue jumper wire, and then on the Arduino, I'll plug that into the ground, which is just next to the 5 volt. So plug that into the ground there, and that's going to pin number 1, on the negative blue strip and then that goes across to the 470 ohm resistor which then goes up to the um, short pin on the red LED. I'm then going to take I'm then going to take this red jumper wire and that is going to go from right in front of the long pin so I'm going to plug it in next to that resistor but in front of the long pin on the LED and then that will go over to pin 13 on the Arduino. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I've got red going from pin 13 on the Arduino to just in front of the long pin on the LED and then next to that uh, on the short, short pin side of the LED we've got a resistor going down to the blue negative strip and then across to this number one um, pin. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is plug it straight into, I'll plug the USB cable in there. Okay, and then I'm going to plug that USB cable into my computer. I've already programmed this Arduino to run the blinking LED program. So, the LED should start blinking every second. So it's on for one second, high, and then off for one second, or low. And I've 
program that in the Arduino IDE. Um, now, I don't have to plug the USB into the computer. I could plug it into um, just a, a wall adapter and it will provide uh, the electricity that way. If I go into the blinking LED program on uh, the Arduino IDE software and change the delay on the next line after LED high, so LED is on, if I change that delay to, from 1000 to 2000 instead, um, that will mean that the LED will stay on for two seconds. If I change the delay after LED low to 500, that will mean that it is off for half a second. And then if I upload that to the Arduino, wait for it to compile and then upload. If we watch the Arduino, it will reset. So it's just resetting and now it's that the light's staying on for two seconds and then off for half a second. So on, then off, and on, then off. Okay, and you can fiddle around with that. So you're just changing the parameters in um, for the delay for when the LED is high or on and when the LED is low or off. Okay, so it's just a simple blinking LED program. Um, it's very simple, but you've um, already learnt quite a few useful um, things about breadboards, um, about resistors, and um, basically just how to program your Arduino. So after this project, um, you can move on to something a little bit more complicated, like using a light sensor to turn the light um, on when it's dark, uh, and turn it off when it's um, conditions are bright, um, or you could use a push button to turn the light on or off. Okay, so you can program it in a number of different ways. But that is how to make a blinking LED with the Arduino Uno. Thanks for watching.